What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you what to do if your PS4 controller won't connect to your PS4. Let's get right into this. The first thing to try is to plug your controller into your PS4 using your USB cable. Next, all you have to do is press and hold the PS button. This should prompt your controller to resync to your PS4. Light comes on here. And if it resyncs, your PSN account should come up on the corner here saying that your controller has connected. Now, if that didn't work and your PS4 controller still won't connect to your PS4, you're going to want to turn off your PS4 like I already did, and you're going to want to connect it again with the USB cable. And you're going to once again press and hold the PS button. This will turn your PS4 on and it should resync your PS4 controller to the PS4 once it is turned on. Hold it here. PS4 is turning on now. And on the top left corner, you see the controller is connected. Now, if that doesn't work and your controller still doesn't connect to your PS4, you're going to have to reset your PS4 controller, or at least try to. On the back of your PS4 controller, right near the L2 trigger, there is this tiny hole here. And you're going to need to use either a pin, paper clip, or something else that is small. And you're going to want to push that button for a couple seconds and then release. So I'm going to show you here. I have a little paper clip we're going to be using. This hole right here, right next to the screw. You're just going to want to push in and push that button for a couple seconds. And then release, just like that. And then all you're going to want to do is once again, connect your PS4 controller to your PS4 using the USB cable. I'm going to connect it here. And once again, you're going to press and hold the button. And on your top of your screen, it should reconnect like it just did for me. Now, if your PS4 controller still won't connect to your PS4, I would simply try a different USB cable. Maybe there's a problem with the cable. Maybe it no longer works. So I would simply try a new USB cable and try connecting that to your PS4 controller and then to your PS4. And again, press and hold the PS button for a couple seconds and you should see it turn on in the top left corner of your screen. The cable could be frayed. There could be something wrong with the connection, something as simple as that. So that's the first thing I would try if none of this would work for you. The other thing would be simply trying a different controller. Internally here, this part here does sometimes mess up and there could be a problem with that. So simply try another controller. If that controller works, if a different controller works with your PS4, then it's most likely something wrong with your controller. So those are the things that I would check if your PS4 controller won't connect to your PS4. Some of this is quick, easy fixes, which is awesome. But if you have to, at the end of the day, get a new PS4 controller, you might have to do that. The bottom line is if you do have to purchase a new PS4 controller, I would honestly recommend purchasing it from either GameStop or EB Games, depending on where you live, because their one year warranty on controllers is phenomenal. Even if there's nothing wrong with your controller, if you claim that there is and it's under warranty, they fully replace it with a brand new controller. All you have to pay for if you want is a new one year warranty, which is about $8, which is a steal. So one thing I do every year, even if there's nothing wrong with my controller, take it into EB Games, say that there's something wrong with the analog sticks or the triggers, they can't check them, and I get a new controller, so a new fresh controller, and I only paid $8 for it, and it's good for another year for another one-year warranty on top of it. That's my little trick with EB Games when it comes to controllers, because whenever the first controllers for PS4 came out, they were made amazing. But the ones that came out after that, the second version, they made them a whole lot cheaper. And if you're an active gamer like I am, sometimes they don't last you long. So getting a new fresh one every year with the warranty, even if there's nothing wrong with your controller, I definitely recommend doing that because it will definitely save you money over time. You're paying $8 a year for a controller and you always have a fresh one. If within that year there is a legitimate reason for you to take back for the warranty, you now actually have that warranty. So you're only paying $8 for the replacement instead of not having a warranty and then having to pay 60 to $80 depending on where you live for a new controller. So it does help, but I hope this has helped you guys with trying to connect your PS4 controller 
to your PS4. I hope this has worked for you. Some people it does, some people it won't. So I understand that completely. And if you are really tech savvy, you could on Amazon purchase the part in here, trying replacing that and seeing if that works. That does work for some people, but for $8 for a new one year warranty and getting that every year, it's a little bit cheaper than trying to take this apart and replace that one little part. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.